Do you want to know the seven high value woman traits? Hey, I'm Auntie Boyd, creator of the Magnetize Your Man method, and I'm super excited to dive into this topic and help you to step into that best version of you so you magnetize that right man for you. So first, Trait number one is a high value woman respects herself. Yes. Okay. So I can already feel you getting triggered with that. Oh my God. And, uh, you know, and it's because, you know, you may have given all your power away or you may have actually not <coughs> respected yourself, but instead you've given like, you know, all your self-honor, you know, you lost your self-trust, which we will go into in a moment as well, instead of actually owning your high value trait. Now, how can you learn to respect yourself? Now, first and foremost, what's really important about that is trust and respect really go together. So uh, number, number one and number four will go together as well. So that's secret number four. Um, what respecting yourself really means that you are willing to walk out when things don't work out for you. You work it out. You're like, see ya later, alligator. And, you know, and so the biggest piece for that is like really that the self-respect has to be bigger than your need to get approval, your need to belong, your need for fill in the blank, right? Everything has to go above it all, right? So that's Secret number one, secret number two of that high value trade is a high value trade woman has high standards. Okay, so this goes along a little bit with respect, right? So for example, so think about what kind of standards do you have, right? I have standards that my that the man who tells me he calls me, he's gonna call me within a few minutes of him saying that he's gonna call me, right? Or my standards are, of course, I'm gonna be treated like a queen. Of course, I'm gonna be picked up. Of course, I'm gonna ha have the the chair being like pulled so that, um, you know, I'm being treated like the queen, right? So you have your high standards, right? Oftentimes what we see is that women are really having like those low standards, right? And what happens is like they're just really putting up with a lot of bread crumbing. You know, they're just really like, oh, that's okay. Oh, if you can just call me for five minutes, that's okay. Or if you don't have time to talk to me today, again, that's okay. If you don't have time to meet with me today, again, that's okay, right? And you just make all those excuses for this guy versus actually saying, no, it's freaking not okay, right? Like I have my standards and look, we're probably not really aligned. You know, it's not gonna work out with us, right? So that's what it means to have high standards, right? Secret number three on, uh, on how to have a high value woman trait is being in your feminine. Yes. So what does it mean? Now you see this beautiful flower in my background um, and that is certainly shows part of the feminine, right? Like it's just really, colorful, it's opening, it's receptive, it's also multi-layered, right? Like the feminine is really multi-layered. There's so much going on about us, but it's really about like, she's really feeling safe receiving, receiving compliments. She's really feeling safe receiving attention. You know, she's really feeling safe receiving eye gazes, right? Like love letters, like little surprises and gifts, um, acts of service, right? So she's so, so good. She's really, really good at receiving, being in her feminine, being in the moment, right? She has like a blast and she loves the man to penetrate, right? To penetrate her energy field, to penetrate her emotional field. And of course, also to penetrate her, of course, physically as well, right? And so that's really, really important because that really is what creates the polarity, right? And that polarity, that's really where men are start chasing you, calling you, pursuing you, 
right? Because they really feel like, wow, there's something different here. There's something that complements me, but yet it's so exciting, right? There's tension, there's activity, there's life force. So that's what we're looking for when we're looking at the feminine. Now, high value trait number four is a high value woman trusts herself and others. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, when you trust someone, it means what you think, what you say, and what you do is in alignment, right? So you trust your word. So what can you do to trust yourself more, right? And then we can also move into how you can trust others more. So how you can do that is for one, in order to trust yourself, you have to clean up your white lies, right? Like where have you been like kind of like, ah, I wasn't quite that honest or mm, I was withholding some information, right? Where is that the case for you? And now it's time to clean that up, girlfriend, right? Uh, because oftentimes you say, oh, I'm like late because I was stuck in traffic. No, we actually left like 15 and 30 minutes later the house, for example, right? And then we have so many little white lies. So it's really important to make sure you make a deposit into your trust bank account. Now, you have to think about what leads to a withdrawal or going into debt in a trust bank account, right? And that's of course like lying to yourself, betraying yourself, leaving yourself, right? Like if you, like I don't really agree, but I'm not gonna say anything. Being incongruent is what you think and what you say is not in alignment, or what you say and what you do is not in alignment. It's totally out of alignment. Ask yourself, where do you do that? When you give so much to a man, all this attention, you forget who you are. There's no attention that goes towards yourself. You're not driving any attention to yourself right? And that's totally incongruent, you know? And then also how you can learn to trust others is actually by trusting yourself. So that's why I said trusting yourself actually goes first because whatever we don't trust in other people, it's just the projection what we don't trust inside of ourselves. Secret number five is setting boundaries without guilt, saying no, fall in love with the now. Let that resound inside of your body, right? Um, so that's really important. And, and what I mean without guilt is really learning about the guilt management system. Like what is guilt, right? So guilt in and of itself is the ego's way into tricking you to think that you have morals. So in other words, we are socially programmed that if we don't have guilt, there's something wrong. We're not human, we're not a person. We're like an animal or we don't really care. We are careless, whatever the case may be, which is actually not true, right? Also, guilt comes from the assumption that there's a right and then there's a wrong. But what I will tell you is right or wrong according to who, right? So what does it mean to you? Well, guess what? Right and wrong is relative. So it really comes back to how much can you hold your own, how much can you defend your own opinion that you have about the world, about yourself, and take a stand for yourself, right? And then the other piece also is understanding that when you set boundaries, that the cool thing is you actually create much more intense long-term trust than if you wouldn't set the boundaries. Right? So when you feel guilty, actually think about like, what if through setting boundaries, I'm actually doing the other person a favor? Not only do I, am I doing myself a favor, but I'm doing the other person a favor because they actually respect me so much more and they feel such a deeper connection with myself. Secret number six is being a great communicator. Now, in order to be a great communicator, what the heck does that mean, right? Well, it means you don't just shut down when you don't know what to say, or you are passive aggressive, but you're actually seeking out the conversation, particularly when it, that it gets a little tough, right? You're actually the first one to pick up the phone and have the conversation. And I mean, I don't mean just the, po the positive conversations, the conversations you would like to have, but I also mean the conversations that you would not like to have. So for example, if you go on a date with a man and he, you're not really that interested in him, right? To seek out that conversation, that communication and just be like, hey, you know, we're not just really a great fit. You know, I just don't really feel the 
you know, the chemistry, I just don't really feel it. Whatever the case may be, that's what it really means to be a great communicator, right? So that's like super, super, super important. And then finally, tip number seven is, and I really love this one, right? Is you know yourself. Hold on, what, what I mean by that? So one thing that my husband always told me, you know, as you know, um, my husband met me, um, what was it, almost seven years ago now. And he told me the first night we met that I'm the girl of his story, right? And I was like, you know, how did you know, right? Like, and, and what, what attracted you, right? What was sort of like the real green lights for you, right? Um, and he said, you know, I just really love that you know yourself. I was like, well, what does that actually mean, knowing myself, right? It was like, yeah, well, you knew that you're an anxious attachment style, but then you also knew how to source yourself, like how to deal with it, right? And so there's like this tremendous amount of self-awareness that a high value woman has over herself. So she can actually communicate how she feels without unconsciously expecting the partner and the man, right, to take care of her or to cope with it or to fix it or to, right, like fill in the blank. But instead, she could just communicate and she could literally just say, hey, I have an anxious attachment style. I want to let you know I have tools, how I cope with it. This is how I cope with it, right? Oftentimes I have to uh, take some time by myself and just find my balance again, right? Um, that's really, really important. And then that's like, that's like the biggest piece, right? It's just really like finding that, that balance again inside of myself, that equilibrium, that harmony, that alignment, right? And then from that place, I can communicate, right? So that's what it means to be, you really to know yourself, right? And then lastly, this goes a little bit along with that, is balance. Okay, so that's, this is really important. This is really huge, right? Like really being balanced. Now, hold on a second. What does that mean? That doesn't mean that you're perfect. Believe me, I'm far from it. What it means is really understanding the six feminine archetypes inside of yourself, and then really knowing like, how do I, how do I balance that? You know what I mean? Like, how do I, you know, am I more in my childlike experience, right? Or am I like, mm, I'm time to mother myself, right? Time to mother myself, time to take care of myself, time to get down to business, right? Or time to slow things down and relax and let go, right? All of that's what it means to be and have balance, right? So awesome, awesome. So those are, my secrets, those are like the secrets of the high value woman traits. So again, in a nutshell, she respects herself. She sets boundaries without guilt. She has high standards. She is feminine. She trusts herself and others. She is balanced. She's a great communicator and she knows herself. So if you're like, gosh, aren't you? I have quite some struggle with that to, to execute that in everyday life. And also, I have a lot of different internal dialogues that getting in the way and sabotage myself so much, I don't even know where to start. So if the, any of this is the case for you, for any of the traits, I invite you to come on a Magnetize Your Man Heart to Heart Chat with me where we get crystal clear what is getting in the way of you congruently and consistently expressing this particular tra uh, trait so you can attract the man of your dreams into your life. So for that, go ahead and click that link below or go directly to magnetizeyourman.com, magnetizeyourman.com, click that link below and reserve your slot as long as they last. This is it for today, much love to you and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah!